Welcome to Around the World in 274 Days, Bob Allen Travels. What do you do when you're in Tokyo for a day? Well, come along and find out. Our first stop was in the uh, Sensoji Buddhist Temple in Tokyo. Uh, it's Tokyo's largest established temple, and it's one of its most significant. Um, the structure of the temple complex include, includes a main hall, a five-story pagoda, and large gates. It's the most widely visited religious site in the world with over 30 million visitors annually. The temple was destroyed on March 10, 1945 during a firebombing raid on Tokyo during World War II, but it was rebuilt in the 1950s. The rebuilding of the temple was perceived, perceived as a symbol of rebirth and peace by the Japanese people. Here we see the traditional incense burning, which is a way of sending your prayers up to heaven and to uh, have uh, the spirit to surround you. There's also an interesting part. This is where they cleanse themselves. They cleanse, wash one hand, then the other, and then they wash their mouth or their lips. Um, we see that in many religions that, uh, that we have encountered on our world cruise. Simply put, Buddhists do not worship the Buddha, although they revere him, they bow, and they pray to him to help them enlighten them so they can overcome the challenges but the strength they believe comes from within. These people here are uh, uh, reverencing the Buddha and making offerings uh, to help them get their mind and thoughts centered in improving their lives. They're actually throwing coins into that metal collector. A good fortune, then you tie it to the Having one fortunes told in Japan seems to be very big. We saw many fortune tellers on the I mean, streets. This lady here puts in 100 yen and then she shakes that, uh, that uh, jar and a little stick will come out that has writing on it. And she matches what's written on the stick with one of those drawers. And, each si and inside of each one of those drawers is a fortune and she pulls it out. That is her fortune. I was reading the sign on the rack just to the left and it says that if you don't like the fortune you got you tie that piece of paper with your fortune onto that rack and then I guess you're free to try another fortune. Once you pass the main gate to the temple you walk into what's called a Nakaminzi Dori Street, which is a major shopping area, and it can be very, very crowded. Here's Lara buying, uh, I think it was something to eat that she bought. Uh, you can see as we first arrived, uh, the crowds aren't too bad, but uh, upon leaving, it became very, very crowded. With Tokyo being the most populous city in the world with 40 million people, it's easy to see why there's lots of crowds. One thing that uh, surprised me that's still in use are rickshaws. Um, in uh, Tokyo here, they were uh, taking people all over the place. It was kind of fun to watch them. Well, you'll never guess, but we are in another street market with fish markets. After shopping around, we decided we'd have some Kobe beef. And we found this little shop, and he uh, we went in, uh, Laura paid for our uh, our meal, and then the man threw our little stick of uh, Kobe beef on the grill and cooked it up for us. 
And that little piece of Kobe beef cost $28, but it was sure good. Laura also found us a crab and cream croquette uh, that she bought, and uh, it was really good too. It's amazing that uh, I think the majority of, of Japanese people and tourists, they use these street markets to do their shopping. And again, because there's 40 million people living in Tokyo, no matter where you go, there's a crowd. For dessert, we had bought this uh, little cookie. Um, it was warm and it was shaped like a fish. It didn't taste like a fish, it tasted like a really good dessert. We are walking to the Shinta Shrine. Shintas have shrines, and Buddhas have temples. It's actually pronounced Shinto. Our guide was telling us the Shinto shrines have more of a, a natural look. They worship nature, whereas the Buddhists are very colorful. And uh, this is definitely the case here, very earthly. Once again, they have a place here to wash and to purify before going into the shrine itself. Shinto was a religion that originated in Japan. Um, it's an indigenous religion and is looked at as a natural religion uh, or nature religion. Um, it evolves around supernatural entities. Um, called Kamis, a Kami, Kamai, is believed to inhabit all things, including forces of nature, prominent landscape locations, um, and these have uh, households will have shrines and family shrines and public shrines. Uh, the latter are staffed by priests uh, who oversee offerings of food and drink. There was a ceremony going on in the shrine, and so we were not allowed to go up there and photograph. Um, but after uh, a few minutes of doing a little exploring, I found out what that ceremony was. And here, it, uh, there are some people up there worshiping. Uh, but the ceremony that was going on was this, a wedding. And there's the bride and her family and I got a picture of her sitting down with, well, there's the groom right next to her on her left. And here's some other photos of it. It's kind of nice to see. Takashida Street is a very popular and famous street in Tokyo. And uh, it is a very crowded street. And as we walk down through here, there's very, very many, there's a lot of trendy uh, uh, shops and restaurants, um, and it is just a madhouse. You can see some of the strange costumes that people wear and will buy, especially some of the young people. But it was a fun thing to walk through. Love working my way through a crowd. It's actually a fascinating place. Our last stop was the Shubaya Crossing. This is the world's busiest uh, uh, crosswalk. And uh, here we are down on gra the ground floor here, kind of working our way through the crowd. And uh, I imagine at night, with all those signs, it's quite spectacular. Here we're uh, 
you can see this sur the crowd surge as the lights change and everybody kind of disappears off that direction and then uh, a few seconds later you'll see the surge coming towards us as people from one side of the street are coming the other way and uh, we're going to get a bird's eye view of it in just a minute. found a place in uh, one of the buildings we're about up about seven stories and we were able to observe the uh, the changing of the traffic lights and the surge of uh, pedestrians It's a madhouse down there, and this wasn't even the busiest time of day. So, but it was fascinating and interesting to watch. We're on top of this uh, building where we were looking at the busiest uh, crosswalk in the world. And you sign your names, your initials on the wall. Which I did, but I don't know if anyone will be able to read it because there's so many others on there. But I've left my mark. We had to work our way uh, across the uh, and through the crowds one more time to get to our our van so we could uh, head on out and head back to the ship if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel around the world in 274 days Bob Allen travels and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we post another video. Thanks for watching.